couple decimals, and then I'm going to double click on the fill handle to drag it down. Boom. So it copies it on down. So, so there we have it. And that looks good. Okay, so let's take the difference between that and my actual data. So the difference, just to get an idea, home tab, font group, black, white, wrap, center. So my actual data that I came up with over here said 6.2% minus what I come up with a Poisson distribution, 6.5%. So let's add some decimal, percentify, add some decimals. So you can see it's pretty close. My Poisson distribution, if I copy that down for each of these items is coming pretty close to the percent likelihood that we came up with our actual data. So, so in other words, if I look at this, we're going to say for each one minute time interval, the likelihood that zero people show up is 6.52 according to the Poisson distribution, which is within 0.32% of what our actual data set. The likelihood that one person's gonna show up, just one, not cumulative, not zero or one, in which case we can sum the two up, right? To 24% that zero or one shows up, but no, just one person shows up, likelihood 17.8%. Just two people show up, in the one minute time period, 24.3%. What's the likelihood that one, two, zero, one, or two people show up? Well, then we can say, well, if it's, if I can sum those up and it's not gonna mess up with calculus to have a, a curve, right? then it's gonna be 48.63% uh, that we have one, zero, one, or two people uh, show up is the that's the idea uh, of the curve. Now, if I plot this, then I can plot this curve and say, let's just select this area here. And I'm going to say insert. And let's make it a chart. Let's go to a bar item and plot that. So I'm going to bring that I should have brought it up. So there it is. And then I'll go into my data. So let's say my data, this data is good, but for here, I wanna make sure to pick up my own numbers from zero to 29. And so there we have it. So I could, I could plot this data and compare it then to, uh, to, to the data set that I have, that, that I, I, the actual data set that we calculated, right? So I could add another one and say, add another data set uh, and this one, hold on a second. I don't want to edit. I want to add a data set. And this one is going to be for this. And the data is going to be here. Hold control shift down, shift up. So I don't pick up the total enter. And so let's see if it does what I was hoping. Uh, it did not. What happened to that second data set? K paso let's what happened let's do another let's do it again let's say add data set i want it to be equal to this and then the series needs to be from hold on a second it needs to be from here down shift up okay the percentages closing that up and this should be I'm going to say the percent of the total, right? Isn't that right? Let's try it. Let's try it again. Okay, so there we have it. So you can see they're, you know, pretty, pretty closely lined up. I've also added the legend. So you can see the two different colors with the plus button and then the legend. I should probably adjust the labels, but we'll keep that for now. Now, we might also represent this with a line if we have two items on the same chart because it's a little less messy. So I could select the same data, putting my cursor on AC1, control shift down, and then insert the charts, hitting the drop down. We want a line. So now we've got the line with markers. So let's pick that up. And if I go into the chart design data and the uh, data, 
So here's our first data set. Let's add another one. And I'm gonna go to the right to do that. And I'm gonna pick up this percent of total. I'm gonna delete this bit. And I'm gonna hit this little thing to make sure I'm picking up the, it's gonna sum this up, putting my cursor on L2, uh, control shift down, shift up. So I don't pick up the total. And there it is. Okay. And then I'm gonna edit my horizontal, my horizontals to be equal to, I'm gonna hit this to make sure it picks it up from here. Control shift down to 29. And there we have it and okay. And uh, okay, so you can see it's quite close uh, when, we, when we plot them in this format. So I could add the legend again. So I could say add a legend. And then we could, you know, make one of these transparent or something like that if we wanted to uh, make it more clear. But those are the couple charts that we can put together and say, okay, that's a pretty close relationship. All right, so remember what we can do with this data, I'm gonna pull this to the right now, is we can start, we can start asking uh, questions about the data in terms of how many people might arrive, right? So let's just, first let's calculate the mean and the variance. So I could calculate the mean of this uh, data. And one way to calculate the mean is to basically, we, we could take this, all of this times this, uh, and, that, and that will be another way we can calculate the mean. So in other words, when we calculated the mean over here, what we did is we, we, uh, just took the average of all of the results.